Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And if you're into Hux World, yes, today we're here to talk about the Galaxy Watch 5 and the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Now, Samsung is going away from calling the Galaxy Watch Classic the Galaxy Watch Pro. My question to you is, and I need for you to hit me in the comment section down below and let me know your thoughts on this one. Will Samsung be getting rid of the rotating bezel or are they going to keep it? Are we going to have this futuristic look like we have on the Galaxy Watch 4? I've seen a prototype of the Galaxy Watch 5. It looks nice, but there's no protection so far as the edge of the glass is concerned. And I think the rotating bezel adds a protection mechanism for bumping your watch up against the wall, up against a grate, or up against a brick wall. And this gives you that extra added protection. Do you think they're going to get rid of the rotating bezel? As I hope that they don't. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on this. Battery life. Now, we've been seeing a lot of information about battery life. I know a lot of people are happy about battery life. They want to get five days of battery life on their smartwatch, which for me, I charge up my smartphone, I charge up my smartwatch, so it's not a huge deal to me. But to be going up from 361 milliamp hour battery all the way up to 572 milliamp hour, milliamp hour this is absolutely awesome. But I have another question that I need for you to help me with in the comment section down below. Is this going to beef up the smartwatch or are we going to keep the same design so far as the thickness is concerned? Or will we be able to get a slimmer design of a smartwatch? I think it could possibly get beefed up. If it does, I don't want no bigger watch. But hit me in the comment section down below. I am excited about this. But tell me, what do you think of this battery? on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and the Galaxy Watch 5. From what I understand, we're going to be getting Wear OS 3 on the new smartwatch. What that entails, so far as features and functions are concerned, I am not sure, but I'm quite sure the UI is going to change. Uh, so far as the features, I'm quite sure they're going to bring up all type of different fitness applications, but I wish they bring more productivity uh, applications and utility applications as to that's what I look for out of a smartwatch. That's what I think makes a smartwatch a smartwatch in my opinion. But I'm looking forward to seeing what Wear OS 3 is going to bring. If you have any ideas or if you know anything about the new features that's coming, hit me in the comment section down below so we can all know what to look forward to when the Galaxy Watch 5 and the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro comes out. Now, so far as the release date, I think the release date is going to happen sometime in mid-August, as it always has, when the Galaxy Note would come out, that smartwatch would come out, but we don't have the Galaxy Note. I'm hearing that the Galaxy Fold 4 is coming out, so maybe it's going to come out alongside of that one. So I'm going to be looking for um, more reviews or more prototypes of the Galaxy uh, Fold 4 because I would like to see what that looks like. But I think that we're going to be getting that watch around that time. And pricing should be anywhere between $250 and $400 and maybe $99, right? This is what I'm thinking. But soon we'll find out what the actual price would be when the watch is released. All right, you all, that's going to be it. Hit me in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on the Galaxy Watch 5 and the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. I'm going to see you all at the next video. Enjoy life. Have some fun and remember to remember to always, you all, always be safe.